Whenever you start your day, you need to start it with God. And you need to do some things on purpose. You need to make a decision. This is the day the Lord has made. I will enjoy this day. Make an announcement to the devil who is the joy thief. I will enjoy this day. I'm putting on my righteousness. I know who I am in Christ. I'm putting on my peace. Jesus gave me peace. I'm not going to get upset today if I don't get my way about everything. If getting things right with God, first thing when you get up, whenever your morning is, if it wasn't important, then it wouldn't say it all over the Bible. Get up early in the morning and take care of the hard tasks. Get them out of the way first. Don't let some job you have to do threaten you all day and make you dread the day. David got up early the day he killed Goliath. Come on, you're not going to kill your giants laying in bed hitting the snooze button. I think every morning we need to dedicate ourselves to God. Let's look at Psalm 25, verse 1. Unto you, O Lord, do I bring my life, plain and simple. I get that psalm out very frequently and read it. I love Psalm 25, 1. Unto you, O Lord, do I bring my life. It's a great thing to do every morning. Just sit or stand or kneel or whatever you're comfortable and just lift up your hands and say, Here I am, Lord, I'm yours. Every morning, we have to go to Him and say, God, show me my assignment. Show me what to do. Show me where to go. Give me the words to speak. Asking for wisdom, for guidance, that's an act of surrender. It takes humility to say, God, you know what's best for me. I can't do this on my own. I need your help. Open the right doors, close the wrong doors, make the path clear. The scripture says, when you acknowledge God in all your ways, he will direct your path. But too often, we make our plans without consulting God. Then we ask him to bless those plans. We wonder why it's a struggle, why it feels like it's always uphill. We have it backwards. We're making a move and then asking God for help. The right way is to ask God first. God, what do you want me to do? Should I date this person? Should I start this new project? Should I make this purchase? If you feel peace about it, then move forward. If not, hold off knowing that God knows what's best for you. When every morning you ask God for wisdom, you are showing your dependency on Him. When you humble yourself like that, the scripture says, God will exalt you. A lot of people these days, they're too prideful, think I don't need any help. I can do this on my own. Joel, look at how successful I am already. Think about where you could be if you'd start acknowledging God. Think about the mistakes He could have saved you from. Think about the opportunity, the favor, the doors you couldn't open, but God can open. Don't do it on your own. That will limit you. Set your mind every morning. I'm going to be a peacemaker and a maintainer of peace. I'm going to be adaptable. If I don't get my way, then I'll just adapt and be happy anyway. And extremely important, Galatians 10, be mindful to be a blessing. Spend a little bit of time every day thinking about something you can do for somebody else and do it early. Set your mind to compliment everybody you get around. Find something nice that you can say to them. We think sometimes, oh, that's, that's a nice outfit you got on, or boy, your hair is pretty. Well, why not open your mouth and say so? What you think doesn't bless anybody, tell them. The more you compliment other people, the better you feel. Make your mind up to compliment the person that you're married to at least five times today. Do you know your marriage could be saved if you'll do that? And not only that, people will respond to the positive things you say to them and they'll start wanting to make you happy. You can't just complain about everything you don't like. Be mindful to be a blessing. Come on, I dare you every morning to think of somebody that you can be a blessing to.